first graders, happy Friday, and welcome to your very first asynchronous lesson with me, Mr. Cameron. Uh, asynchronous just means that on Fridays, I won't see you on the Zoom meeting, but I'm still going to put some activities up on Schoology so that you can have some movement and some activity time during your PE time, and I hope you enjoy it, okay? What we're going to do first is we're just going to get ourselves warmed up just like we do on the Zoom meeting, so I have a little warm-up that we're going to do together, so make sure that if you're not already standing up, you stand up, you give yourself a little bit of room because we are going to be moving, and we're going to get our bodies warmed up. Now, this week's warm-up is a lower body warm-up, so we're going to get our legs warmed up, we're going to get our hips warmed up, and we're probably going to increase our heart rate a little bit too, so you're going to feel your heart beating a little bit faster than it is right now, okay? So hopefully you're standing up, you have a little bit of room around you, make sure we're not bumping into other people or things that are around us when we're doing our warm-up, okay? The first thing we're going to do are called march steps, all right? It's just like you're marching in place. When you're marching, make sure you get your knees up high and you're pumping your arms and marching at the same time. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds, okay? So everybody ready? And go. Good. Notice how my knees are going up high with every step. I'm stepping down in the same place. My arms are pumping. Very good. Just a few more seconds left of marching. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Next up are called reverse lunges. Now, a couple weeks back, we did a lunge. And if you can remember, a lunge is when you stepped out in front of you like this, your knee went down, and then you stepped back up like this. Today we're going to try a reverse lunge. Now this one might feel a little weird at first. It might be a little bit tougher. But I like the challenge and I think you're going to like it too. So we're going to do what's called a reverse lunge. You're going to start standing up just like you were for a regular lunge. But instead of stepping forward, you are going to step backwards. Now when you step backwards, you're going to drop that knee that you stepped backwards with down to the ground. And you're going to come up. Then you step back to where you started. Now, on your second one, you're going to step backwards with your other leg. Drop your knee down, up, back to where you started. Okay? I'll do one this way so you can see. So we're stepping backwards, drop our knee down, and up. I like to keep my hands up here in front of me to help me balance when I do these, so I don't lean from side to side. Okay? We're going to do six reverse lunges, three with our right leg, three with our left leg. Okay? Here we go, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Ready? Go. Step back, drop her knee down, back to the start. Other leg, step back, drop her knee down, back to the start. That's two. Good. Switch your legs every time you do it. Keeping your balance, not falling over. Good. And one more. And up. Very good. Next up is called side leg raises. Hands are either on our hips or by our sides. Feet are close together. When you're ready to do a side leg raise, you're going to lift one leg up as high as you can on the side of your body and bring it right back down. Then you're gonna switch. And you're gonna do the other one straight up to the side. You should feel this stretching on your hips. You should feel it stretching on your legs. And it also helps with your balance as well. We're gonna do 10 total. Five with our right leg, five with our left leg. Here we go. Everybody ready? And up. One, switch legs, two, switch legs, three, switch legs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now we're back to marches. So get those knees up high, let's start marching. We'll do this for about another 30 seconds. And I'm going to go a little faster than I did the first time. Because now I got the hang of it. I'm marching. I got my knees up. Stepping in the same place every time. Feel my heart starting to beat a little faster, which is great. A couple more seconds. Back 
to reverse lunges. We have six more of these. If we turn sideways, remember we start with our feet close together. We step back, drop our knee, that's one. Switch leg, drop our knee, that's two. Switch legs, drop our knee, that's three. Switch legs, drop our knee, that's four. Five. And six. Good. Okay. Next up, we have an arm workout in here. I didn't know that was coming, but surprise, a little arm workout for you. We're going to do some bicep extensions. Your bicep is this part of your arm right here. Good. That's the part we're going to be extending. That's the part we're going to be warming up. And it starts out with your hands straight out in front of you with your palms up to the sky. Turn sideways so you can see. Arms in front, straight up to the sky. And all you're going to do is curl your arms towards your body and away. Towards your body and away. We're going to do 10 of those. All right? Hands out in front. Ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Back to our marching. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time. You can too if you want to, but make sure we're staying under control. Ready? Go. Get your knees up. Stretching those legs. more reverse lunges. Here we go. Stepping back, dropping our leg. Good. Make sure you're switching legs still. Nice job. Trying to keep your balance so you don't tip over from side to side. Last one. And good. Okay. The last one are just a simple jumping jack. Okay. When we start jumping jacks, we start with our hands by our side, feet together. And then when we jump in the air, we spread our legs and our hands go up. Okay? Let's see here. Hands by our side. We're going to do, oh, let's do 20 of these. All right? Hands by our side, feet together. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. heart rate on your chest. You can take two fingers, touch the side of your neck right here. You can take those same two fingers, touch the inside of your wrist underneath your thumb, and you can feel how fast your heart was beating. Okay? This was your warm-up. Hopefully you're nice and loose and ready to go. You're going to click the next video for your main activity, and I hope you enjoy. Have a good day.